I am not much given to regret, but I do regret that I'm not with you in Uruguay now. One of the most memorable experiences of my life was, I, was when I went to Copenhagen to address the IFMSA meeting in Copenhagen and the level of enthusiasm, of commitment, of energy and indeed of concern for social justice that was present in the room was palpable. As some of you will know, I think that medical students are our future. And part of my mission, in fact, the center of my mission as president of the World Medical Association is Doctors for Health Equity, is getting doctors engaged in achieving better health for populations. As you will know, there is a worldwide move for universal health coverage, vitally important. I would not dissent from that for one moment. But when there are gross inequities in society, social and economic inequalities, inequities in living conditions, in the conditions in which people are born, grow, live, work and age, and inequities in power, money and resources that drive these inequities in health that we see within countries and between countries, those problems will not be solved by universal health coverage. When people get sick, they need access to health care. But we need to address the social determinants of health and health inequities. Then the question is, well, where do doctors fit into this? And as tomorrow or the day after, you will be doctors. That question's important. And we've identified five areas where we think the medical and other health professions are crucial. The first is education and training. So education and training of doctors and other health professionals in the determinants of health and health equity. Second, seeing the patient in the broader perspective. I told the story when we had a meeting under the auspices of being president-elect of the World Medical Association in London. And at the end of the first day, I was walking home and there in the portico of St Pancras Church in London were people bedding down for the night in sleeping bags at quarter past nine in the evening. As doctors, I asked the audience the next day, do we not have a responsibility for seeing our patients in a broader perspective if they have nowhere to live, simply treating them and sending them back to the conditions made them sick is inefficient, unethical, and just plain wrong. So seeing the patient in a broader perspective was number two. The third was seeing the health service as employer. In Britain, junior doctors, 98% of junior doctors voted to strike because of conditions of employment. And that's not just doctors we should be concerned with, but laboratory assistants, nurses assistants, cleaners, the health service as employer, vitally important. The fourth is working in partnership, doctors working in partnership with others. I gave the Christmas lecture at the Royal College of Paediatrics and Child Health in London. And they said to me, we are your natural allies. We know when looking after children, we need to work with others who are expert in child development. We don't do this as doctors alone. I could have had something similar from the gerontologists or from the occupational physicians or from the obstetricians. Working in partnership with others is vital. There's one primary care centre in East London, a deprived part of London, 
that tell me that 80% of their prescriptions are social prescriptions, not for medications, but for social services. So working in partnership with others is key. And the fifth is advocacy. When I assume my presidency of the World Medical Association in Moscow in October, I said, as doctors, we cannot stand idly by while social and economic inequalities damage the health of our patients. We need to be advocates for fairer conditions for all in society to improve health and health equity. Let me come back to that meeting in Copenhagen of the IFMSA that has stayed with me. I've said many times since, if on a rainy Thursday in winter in London with a sleet gray sky, my mood should drop just a fraction. I think of the energy and enthusiasm of the medical students who do indeed want to create a fairer world with justice and health for everyone. I wish you a successful conference.